Hey, this is Rank Sentimentalist, and tonight we're going to be flying the Tier 2 American uh, Air Superiority Fighter, the P-23, uh, the Carrier-Based Fighter, the F-2F, the German Tier 2 A-60, AR-68, rather, and the Japanese A-4N. This, uh... We're all leveled up except for the Hawk. And all these, I'll take 1,500 experience. And it was really cool that although uh, the stats were wiped for uh, the open beta, my 87% win percentage, <laughs> yeah, like that's going to last. Um, they did let you keep the markings on your plane. And I wonder if those are going to pers persist through uh, through the launch of the actual game. It would be nice. I don't care that much. Or at all. But, uh... We'll see. Okay, let's just jump in battle. So we've been mostly in Tier 4s. Tonight. In our Tier 2. We've been in the, the tier two, three, four battles. Oh, yeah, and here we are again. I think a lot of new players or a lot of players back. Just lower that a little bit. Okay, so what are the rules? We're going to stay together, right, and keep our altitude. So speed and altitude management are, are definitely important in this. So that's where I think it is more of a, you know, it's more of a sim light than a straight up arcade shooter. But it is, you know, they, they, they want to make it very uh, accessible to everyone. It is. don't need to be a flight sim expert to play the game, by any means. Now my, now my one pet peeve, and again, I really shouldn't... It's a minor thing in a flight game, I guess, where the ground should just be, you know, the last, the last of your priorities. But, like, this harbor, it seems like the harbor should be the entire map this map is like 10 or 15 square kilometers. So those guys are smart. They're staying up high. I'm come in on this guy. And we stalled. Which is cool. rammed each other. That's good. That's a tear. I think there was a guy back there shooting at me, but I'm not sure. This has got to be him. And now I would say he's probably in a BFT.
the guy doesn't strafe me here, which is like, a danger. Alrighty, that's two. And this is coming... This is kind of a barn burner, isn't it? Three of us versus, or four of us versus three of them. Try to get some altitude. So hopefully, uh, when the game launches, they put up a North American West server. So I'm pinging you know, 30 to it. I'm pinging 111 to the uh, World of Warplane server here. Next we will, the American F4, or F2F, there we go, battle, let's see how we do, not a lot of tier 2's, we could get a tier 1 game, maybe, we'll be back in that 2, 3, 4. Yep, we're in the two, three, four. Definitely a lot of new players. People I don't really recognize. Stick with this big pad going to the harbor. Like, I'm not sure if this should be a lake or something like that. But, uh, it seems like this lake should be the whole map, too. Never happen, or almost never, in World of 
fill the tanks, or a tier two plane would just eat the lunch of a tier four tank. Or, you know, a tier two tank is not going to eat the lunch of a tier four tank. Like, I just didn't like that. to the AR-68. Also, fully upgrade on the way to the AR-80. Let's, let's do this. This time we might end up in that game with those tier ones. Maybe. Oh yes, top of the list. So if I screw this up, uh, yeah. Definitely want to gain some altitude here. That's what happens. And last but not least, the uh, Japanese A4N.
Now, one neat thing is that the Jap uh, naval fighters for all nations can generally carry bombs. But if you have the bombs loaded, you lose uh, a good chunk of, you know, speed maneuverability, acceleration, basically all-around performance. But even after you drop the bombs, just by having the uh, pylons for the bombs on there, uh, you're going to lose a little performance anyway. So I don't put any kind of bombs on my fighters at all. They're strictly air to air. Middle of the pack here. It's weird how it does that. It's seven and eight. You'd think it would be uh, one A four N and one F two F for both of us here, instead of having the two A four Ns on one team and the two F four Fs. So it's not historical, but a lot of times you see it uh, match make kind of historical. This plane's very maneuverable. Uh, pretty good firepower, but can take very much damage.
Alrighty, so that were that was um, those were uh, the tier two Air Force and Naval fighters for the Americans, Germans, and the Japanese. See you next time.